Hey beautiful people, drum nerds, welcome to a tiny house tutorial for drum trainer online from the beautiful mountains of Austria because we are not in Berlin right now and I just want to talk about a combination of two Yamaha tools that really changed my life. It's, I'm so amazed by the possibilities of this. So it is the combination of the EAD10 microphone and trigger interface and the stage custom hip uh, drum set and this works so good together because it's a it's a reasonable recording possibility if you don't have that much money and if you don't have that much much space this is it this works so great so first of all we have this stage custom hip it's a um, 20 by 8 inch bass drum I think it's in 10 by 5 and a um, 13 by 8 floor tom and the floor tom is also a snare drum a snom this is very very cool and it's a 13 by 5 um, snare drum I think or by 3 I don't know but it's it's small uh, and we have the EAD10 trigger and microphone interface and we um, record the whole drum kit just like that and I'm so fucking amazed it works amazing okay so and i will show you some examples so let's talk about the drums first those drums sound amazing you could tune them right i i didn't even put so much time into that now but they sound really cool. Of course, it's a small drum kit, so it's it's cool for like jazzish, funkish uh, club gigs. But of course, the kick drum has its limitations. There's no doubt about it because it's just eight inch uh, by twenty. So, for some occasions, for some situations, it could be bigger, and that is where this little uh, piece comes um, into the picture. <laughs> because we have a, a, a couple of great presets uh, in this tool and we can also um, create some user scenes where we could really make this kick drum sound like it is a 26 inch uh, kick drum in a stadium and uh, this is really great if you want to record demos or even original songs for, for people on vacation like i'm doing this in this tiny house and this kick drum doesn't sound big enough or if you want to um, record some electronic music uh, stuff, there are some great presets in here where you could fake some houseish or hip hopish um, drum sounds. So that is really cool. And I just will show you the device real quick if you don't know this, and and then I will just play some examples. And then I think you just get this tool, and you will have so much fun with that. So here we go. We just start with the, uh, it's called the sensor unit. It has an um, XY microphone in here, which really records all, all the drums around. It records the bass drum, but also the toms, the snare, and of course the cymbals. And believe it or not, it sounds really cool. And then of course there's a drum trigger in here, which is attached to the rim of the kick drum, which uh, triggers uh, the, the bass drum sound and it goes right right uh, into this device here with two jack cords and that's about it and then you go with a USB uh, cord you could go right into your laptop or into your iPhone or uh, Android whatever the fuck you are using and um, you can record yourself into logic like I do it or you just record yourself right onto your iPhone with the film at the same time, which is really cool. But if you really want to um, work on the sound afterwards, um, I would definitely recommend to go into your computer first and take that extra mile. Now in the device um, itself, you have a lot of great um, presets. They are called scenes, user scenes, and it's from dubstep to electronic dub, um, Plus T9, Jungle, 
a lot of cool stuff you hip hop you just have to try that and of course there's a lot of rockish stuff too um and of course if you don't want to use this you could easily program your own user scenes as they are called and that's about it you have like the reverb effects trigger you could mix that really cool and here you go and um you will create your own great sound just with my one microphone how cool is that so here we go i will just demonstrate some of those presets which i really like and uh, some of my favorite presets and you will just judge by your ears and that's about it so uh, one thing which is really cool preset number one it's called arena so it's really big okay it sounds really huge and if you think about that small bass drum just love it so let's let's go for another one which i really like is the eighth note um eighth note delay it's preset number six I love this one and of course you could adjust the um, speed of the delay and do a lot of stuff with that another one I really love the flanger it reminds me of one of my favorite songs by Prince she's always in my hair Another one is dirty. Oh, just love it. And this is also cool. It's 1985. forever there's so many cool um, presets in there but of course you can also um, uh, create your own scene so this changed my life I mean hands down this is this is one of the greatest inventions the AAD 10 I can think about in a long time and also this kit is so cool because it fits into a small room we even use it at drum trainer Berlin in our room and they sound great and they look so cool and to be honest both tools are pretty reasonable, so I just have to highly recommend this stuff. I hope this little tutorial helped a little bit. Have fun, stay tuned, subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe, fuck it, don't subscribe. I see you around. Have a great summer. Mm -hmm.